Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. In the past, any qualified airman who met eligibility criteria could apply for special duty opportunity. But now Air Force leaders feel it's increasingly important to deliberately place the most qualified airmen in certain positions, especially those who have a broad-reaching impact on airmen across the service. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force James Cody says it's really about making sure the Air Force is getting the best of the best, even among volunteers. And as we really, really look to deliberately develop the enlisted force into the future, the decisions that we make about each and every airman become more critical because we have to ensure we have the right amount of people with the right training, right experience, right education to do the things that our Air Force is going to need them to do. For more information on special duty assignments, you can visit the MIPERS website. To go with the message Chief Master Sergeant Cody said about volunteering for special duties which fit the individual, Airman First Class Laquisa Sprewell introduces us to an airman who uses his talent as a people person to help his wingmen. There are many special duties in the military, but Master Sergeant Stephen Brenneman has found the one that allows him to exercise his passion of showing personal interest in others. As the first sergeant of the 724th Air Mobility Squadron at Aviano Air Base. One of the best parts of my job is I'm, I'm paid to go around and talk to people, see how they're doing, find out what's going on in their lives, ask them what they need, and uh, just, just talk with them. First Sergeant Brenneman credits the professional leadership he had in the past for giving him the experience he needs to properly guide airmen today. Although he is able to use the knowledge gained from years of experience, being a first sergeant is not always a simple task. This is a job that you can prepare for and prepare for and prepare for even more and still you're going to come across something one day that no one's ever seen before. It, that happens to be one of the things I enjoy about it, the challenge, but it's also a great learning opportunity. Despite the challenges, Sergeant Brenneman finds joy in being entrusted with his airman's well-being. I love it. It's the best job I've had in the Air Force. Every day is a new challenge and, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And I'm honored to be able to, to do this job and help our young airmen. Airman First Class, Laquisa Sprewell, Aviano Air Base, Italy. Students enrolled in Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy Course 14, Version 5 have until the end of September to complete the course. Those who miss the deadline will be automatically disenrolled and will have to complete the new version of the course. Information on the steps to enroll in Version 6 will be released in September. For more information, visit AFLINK. Maintaining vehicles in a deployed environment may not be easy, but the vehicle maintenance shop at the 379th Air Expeditionary Wing is up to the task. Staff Sergeant Michael Wikes has a story. The 379th Air Expeditionary Wing has one of the largest vehicle fleets in the deployed environment. In charge of keeping these vehicles up and running is a no-fail mission that vehicle maintenance takes very seriously, knowing that without vehicles, the mission cannot be accomplished. Our vehicle maintenance touches every part of the base. Everything that happens on this base cannot be done without a vehicle. Uh, if you think about supply deliveries can't be made, aircraft fueling can't be done, fire trucks can't run, security forces can't do their patrols. Um, you know, we, we have a hand in just about every single function on this base in one form or another. Maintaining over 1,100 vehicles in a desert environment is no easy task. However, vehicle maintenance ensures that any critical assets are kept functioning at a very high percentage rate. We have 161 critical vehicles, and when I say critical vehicle, I'm talking about vehicles that are dedicated to only launching aircraft. And we maintain about a 91% CVR rate. The 91% vehicle mission capable rate also extends to the rest of the fleet, ensuring that the 379th AEW is ready to roll with minimal to no downtime. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Wikes, Southwest Asia. To see more Air Force Broadcasting Service products, follow us on Twitter at Air Force TV. For more on today's top stories, visit AFLINK. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.